Okay, so we've talked about the static magnetic field, about how to generate the RF to generate signal, and about how to receive that signal with a coil. So there are two more pieces that we need to talk about. First of all, just to touch on this briefly, we've said that the signal might look something like this. Okay. And this is time. This is signal intensity, which might be voltage or current, depending on how we're measuring it. And this is a continuous or analog measurement of voltage over time. Now, the reality of the way that we process MR images is that it's all done using computers. It's all digital processing. And in order for this to work, we need to have a digital signal to deal with. But on the other hand, the nature of the MR signal is that it is an analog signal. There is this continuous precession going on, and there is a continuous oscillation of that signal. So there is another piece of the MR system, which is called the receiver, or also known as the A to D, or analog to digital converter. All that is, is a, well, it is complicated, but for our purposes, that is essentially just a piece of hardware which takes this signal and essentially chops it up into a series of discrete measurements. So it takes, during some period of time, this period of time is called the sampling time, T sub s, it asks the question, during this time window, how much signal is there to be detected? And it goes ahead and records all of the signal available during that time and does it again and again and again and again. Okay? There are some issues which we'll talk about tomorrow afternoon, which maybe you could think about, but as you know, some of you guys know from your ultrasound physics, there are issues with sampling a continuous function like this and how rapidly you have to sample it to right, to correctly represent what is going on there. For example, if we sampled this at a very low rate, right, let's say only every one, one two, three, four, five of these, right. So if that's all the sampling that I did, that's what I would detect. Right? I would need to sample this much more rapidly right? to actually reproduce the function that is there. And I don't want to go into this in detail now because we're going to talk about it more tomorrow, but one of the issues with this receiver, analog to digital converter, is that it needs to be able to sample the signal fast enough to accurately reproduce that, what that analog signal is underneath that it represents.